Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to be testing the accuracy of five mice from different generations to see how good they actually are. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, I thought I'd do an accuracy test. Now, the only way to give a level playing field when you're testing mice is to do the same thing repeatedly, which is actually pretty difficult to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the mouse accuracy test, which you can try out for yourself at Mac, Mac, mouseaccuracy.com. It's easier to spell than it is to say. So I'll put links in the description so you don't even have to say it. You can just click on it. But this is going to be a bit of a competition. So we'll see who has the most accuracy and basically who has the best mouse. Well, I suppose it would be a combination of the two. Best accuracy, best mouse, should in theory win it. But that is the theory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test five mice. Now I've got the uh, Microsoft Game, I think this was the Sidewinder X3. This is from around about sort of 2003, 2004. Now this used to always be my go-to mouse. I had a load of these. Um, when I upgraded from the kind of IntelliMouse and the uh, IntelliMax Optical, I think it was as well, which again was another favorite of mine. This is the one I used for a long, long time. And myself, Calf, George, we all in the household ended up using this. So next after that one is gonna be this one. This is the uh, Master Keys Lite mouse, which comes as part of a keyboard and mouse set, which I did a review of, which you can check out up here. Uh, this has actually been my daily driver on my video editing PC for probably about two years or so now. So I'm actually really comfortable with this one. Being a left-hander, this one is an ambidextrous mouse, so it's absolutely fine for left-handers, right-handers. And actually I find it to be very reliable, very accurate. Like the Sidewinder mouse and pretty much all the other mice, it's got a sensitivity button on the top so you can adjust the sensitivity to get it how you like. But anyway, moving on. So the next one is gonna be the uh, Game Max Strike RGB. And this is one I've recently reviewed. And actually for a 10 pound mouse, this is actually pretty good. Again, very similar features. Um, I'm not entirely sure about the accuracy. It's okay, but I'm kind of wondering whether or not it's me or whether it's the mouse. So the only way to really validate my findings with this is to test it against these other mice. So moving on to the next one. Again, this is uh, another pretty much a daily driver for me. This one normally lives on the streaming PC desk behind me. Uh, this one gets used quite a lot as well, and it was actually one of my daily drivers on the video editing PC for a while, so I've had a lot of experience with this one. This is the um, Rio Toro Aurox RGB gaming mouse. This is a slightly more expensive option of the lot. This one, I think, retails around about 35, 40 pounds, so a little bit more expensive than the other options. Uh, I guess this one, when it first came out, was about 20, 25 pounds. That as part of the kit is kind of 40, 45 pounds. The cheapest, definitely the um, the Game Max mouse at the moment. So in theory, that should probably be the worst performing price perf performance, that kind of thing. The last one we're going to be using is the uh, Viper V750. And this is, I think this is actually probably the most expensive on the test. These are around about 40 to 50 pounds. Uh, this one actually is more of a right-handed mouse. It is the superior mouse of the lot with features, um, all that other kind of stuff. But I actually didn't find it very comfortable to use, again, being a left-hander. So we're going to try it out anyway and see what the accuracy is like. Uh, we're not going to be using any of the side buttons so in this accuracy test, so the kind of left-handed, right-handed thing shouldn't come into it. So I'm going to be recording this in OBS so you can actually see what's going on and you can see the, uh, the results as they pop up. So best thing to do is get straight into it. So first one I'm going to do, being that this one's plugged in already, I'm going to go with the Sidewinder X3. So let's make a little bit of room here. And we'll start up the OBS recorder. So let's minimize that. So here we are in the mouse accuracy test. So mouseaccuracy.com if you want to play along at home or at work. Yeah, definitely do it at work. You might as well do it while you're getting paid for it. So in a mouse accuracy test, we'll do the same settings on each one. So difficulty normal, target size medium, duration 30 seconds, color target red, cursor is going to be the uh, crosshair and we will enable the HUD. So let's go, click on start. Now this one actually immediately does feel very accurate. The pointer and the, the laser on the Sidewinder X3 was always pretty legendary for its time. It'd be interesting to see how well it is actually fared against the modern sensors. 
And this is actually a slightly smaller mouse, so it does fit my grip quite nicely. So there we go, there's the results for that score. So total score is 219. So 219 is the score to beat at the moment. So what I'm gonna do now, literally just gonna unplug the mouse, stick that to one side, and we'll move on to the next one. So the next one is gonna be the Master Keys Lite L. This is the RGB game mouse. So we'll just let, plug it into the front USB there, let, let the driver install. Wait for Windows to settle. Anytime today. Okay, we're good. Right, let's, uh, let's make sure I've got the right DPI. So there we go. Right, so here we go. We'll do the same test again and see how, we'll see what we get this time around. This actually feels. Um, very similar actually. The click is a little bit more clicky, I think, if I uh, if I remember rightly. The actual the key switch in the uh, the mouse click seems a lot more precise. There we go. There, that says it all. Click accuracy on that one, 100%. Can't really do much better than that. And our total score was 234 points. So, yeah, pretty impressed with that. So, again, this is my daily driver. I am used to it, so maybe there, there is a little bit of influence on that. But still, a pretty decent score. So, 234 is the one to beat. Next. So, <laughs> next one is going to be the Game Max Strike RGB. Now, like I said before, I'm, this is the cheapest one, and I'm not entirely convinced that the sensor is as accurate as it should be. Those two, I think, actually, from what I can remember, both of those are laser mice, whereas this is uh, traditional optical, as you can see by the red LED on the bottom. So laser mice generally are better at tracking on certain surfaces than uh, optical. But let's see, let's see what happens. So let's restart. So 234 to beat. Yeah, this one has definitely got a slightly more mushy uh, left click. Although the tracking seems to be going pretty well. Although, I don't know whether I'm actually concentrating harder. It does feel quite responsive now. Ooh, that's interesting. So the click accuracy was 100% still, and I was actually really concentrating then. Uh, the total score is actually less, 216. So I think that brings us in second place against the Sidewinder at the moment. So um, yeah, that's an interesting one. Lower score, but better click accuracy than the Master Keys Lite. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting this actually to come in at the bottom of the pile. So this puts this one in second place at the moment. So let's move on to the Rio Toro. So again, Rio Toro one. Now this is actually a much, much bigger mouse uh, in physical dimensions. It, it's, a, it's quite a chunky beast. And it's actually quite a bit heavier as well. So, okay, so we'll wait for Windows to finish setting up the device. And then we'll move on to the one at the end, which I'm not really looking forward to, the Viper. I think I'm gonna suck badly at that one. Okay, so what are we at, 234 was it to beat? 216 the previous score, so let's, uh, let's see how the Rio Toro can do. Here we go. This one, again, is a uh, very similar click, I think, to the, um, the Cooler Master, Master Keys. Uh, but accuracy seems pretty good still. I think I double click then, actually. We'll find out in a minute on our accuracy. Oh, 
I wasn't expecting that. That is actually a little bit lower. So 214, I think that ties place with the Sidewinder X3. Click accuracy, 93%. So I was kind of expecting that. I did miss a couple of there, and I'm pretty sure I actually double clicked on one uh, by mistake there. So take that as it will. But 214, again, this at the moment is actually probably one of the more expensive mics on this test, and it's actually done pretty much equally last. So, okay, let's move on to the last one, the Viper, and see how we get on with that. Now the Viper itself, this is a bizarre mouse because it's got these ceramic pads on the bottom, so it's got such a smooth slide. Hopefully that's going to be uh, beneficial in this particular test, but we will see. This is actually a beautiful mouse. If you want to see the full review of this actually, again, like all of these actually, click on the information link at the top corner and uh, hopefully CAF will have put the links in for you. So, gaming device is ready. Gaming mouse is set up and ready to go. Right, what's the... Yeah, DPI is about right. Okay, here we go. This is the last and final test. How do you think it's going to do? I'm thinking it's going to do really badly because I'm, I'm not really comfortable holding this. But we'll, uh, we'll see. So, here we go. Three. Two, one, here we go. Yeah, immediately my, uh, it feels slower. The click is possibly more accurate, but I don't feel comfortable actually with this mouse. It feels like it's uh, kind of slightly out of control. I don't feel confident. I think it's a little bit too big for my hand. And also being this in technically the wrong hand as well, is definitely not helping matters. Yeah, so there we go. So definitely because we slowed up on that particular one, total score 201, so this one scored the worst, even though technically this is by far the most superior mouse on the test. My target efficiency 65% and my click accuracy was 97. So I did miss one or two, well one I think it was actually there, missed one. Uh, 52 targets, so I think I was getting roughly about 60 targets on the other one, so again, definitely because of my left-handedness, this was not a very comfortable uh, mouse to use on that particular run. So, results-wise, so results-wise, first of all, coming in last, the most expensive mouse, the Viper, followed next by the old favorite, the Sidewinder X3. Next one up was the Rio Toro, the second most expensive on this test. Coming up next was the Game Max um, Strike RGB, which actually was the cheapest on the test, coming in second place. And first place, as I kind of thought it would do, because basically I've been using it a long time and it suits my actual style, is the Cooler Master Master Keys Lite key, uh, mouse from the keyboard and mouse set, which, again, possibly slightly unfair because that is my daily driver, I do use it a lot, but then I do swap between these mice quite a bit and for kind of eight or nine hours of a day in my kind of day job, I'm using a different mouse altogether. For five or six hours on a night time when I'm doing the YouTube stuff, then I'm using different mice and swapping between them. So maybe slightly unfair, maybe not, I don't know. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments section below and please, please do have a go at the mouse accuracy test for yourself. Do the same test and let me know what your score is in the comment section below. And also tell us what mouse you're using as well. That is going to be really helpful. And also say whether you're a left-hander or a right-hander, because again, that is all going to come into it. So hopefully you've enjoyed this content. It's been a little bit different from what we usually do, but uh, there we go. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the next Mouse Accuracy Challenge. Thanks for watching.